There is an outbreak of a bacterial infection that Multnomah County officials are sounding the alarm about tonight. Let's check in with Queen Six's Ariel Salk live from downtown tonight. Ariel, what do we know about this health concern? It's called Shigella, and health officials say that the unhoused community are more vulnerable to catching it. Just the last few days, um, we did get it on our radar that um, there was an outbreak. A highly contagious bacterial disease is spreading in the Tri-County area. 45 cases has been reported in December, a third of the cases in the year. Shigella is a bacteria that is spread by fecal oral transmission, which in the simplest terms means that infection can happen when a tiny amount of poop from an infected person, amounts not visible to the eye, can get into someone else's mouth. Multnomah County officials say the increase in Shigella is primarily impacting the unhoused community. We have not seen cases of folks in the general public who have acquired infection that we can't explain. Um, unfortunately, when you're working with people who are experiencing homelessness, they are more susceptible. Lots of different communicable diseases can get spread around. Shigella most commonly causes diarrhea, fever, and fatigue. Historically, a majority of Shigella cases in Portland have been associated with transmission during sexual contact, most commonly but not limited to men who have sex with men or from infection acquired during travel. A Union Gospel Mission, they are taking extra precautions, including last night when three of their guests at their winter shelter in Southeast Portland showed similar symptoms. Thankfully, one of our overnight shelter workers, she had seen that this was an illness going around, even though we weren't sure if that's what it was. She did a good job of helping the folks who were sick, cleaning, helping them clean up, disinfecting the bathrooms, trying to contain it to those folks as much as possible. Average cases last for three to 10 days, but it can be worse. The infection can be severe, particularly those who are immune compromised. While antibiotics can help, it's not always a solution. In the Portland metro area since 2017 have shown high proportions of resistance to antibiotics. The county says they are taking steps to stop the spread of Shigella. I think one of the biggest um, interventions we're doing is providing that temporary housing to people who are recovering from Shigella because what that does is it gets them off the streets at the time when they're potentially most infectious. Now, one piece of good news, your pets cannot contract it. 